back today we will discuss about user access management in previous class we discuss about identity management so today we discuss about access or session management so let's take an example let's say you try to open a website let's say facebook.com so when you hit www.facebook.com so what happens is when you hit this url facebook.com there is a facebook server on which the facebook application is running so what happens when you run this facebook.com this application url when you hit from your browser it go to the server before reaching to the server there is something called web gate okay which is sits over your web server here it will check okay here it will check few things what are the things this request is sent to the om server or your facebook server facebook server will decide this website is protected or not protected means this website requires some credentials or not if credentials are required immediately a like a login page will be thrown to the user user will fill the form or login page and submit with the credential it will go and there will be some database or ldap directories there those credential will be verified if the credentials are correct so after that some cookies will be generated and based on this cookies and credential it will be decided how many servers you are authorized to use how many web pages you are authorized to use and based on your after the authentication completed and your authorization it will return the user is authorized to access this facebook server if you are authorized the page will be opened and let's say you are not authorized a error page or you are not supposed to authorize or unauthorized kind of page will be shown so this way we manage the access or login or session to a user so this is all about access management